it could be that it finally gave out. We don't know. It's making a little bit of noise. So here it is, due to uh, several different factors and uh, reasons, shops not committing, etc. The the Honda has been sitting longer, much longer than we had wanted to. But today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna dig it out. We're gonna get it running, and we're gonna get it towed to uh, one of our distributors, Bimmer Speed, up in North Palm Beach. And we're going to open this puppy up and see what went wrong. Follow along. So today's the day finally that we're going to open up the RBS Honda. We're going to do some inspections on it, see what really went wrong, what happened. We're on our way to one of our distributor shops called Member Speed in North Palm Beach. They specialize in all kinds of German vehicles and pretty much anything you uh, have. So they're, they're offering their help to uh, get to the bottom of what happened with the Honda. Joel with RVS, we're finally here, uh, about to tear down the Honda. We're here with Adrian with Bimmer Speed. Uh, How you doing, guys? He is one of our distributors, and uh, he has a really nice shop here in North Palm Beach. He works on all kinds of cars, mainly German. But uh, he's uh, offered his help today to uh, take a look at this Honda and see what we can find and what possibly uh, went wrong with it. So from what I know, RVS has been running no engine oil in this vehicle for quite some time. Uh, to obviously prove their product to show that you know whatever the materials are in their their lubrication process it truly keeps the wear down to a minimum um, I believe you guys ran quite some time 4,000 miles with no engine oil so, so at this moment uh, we're going to it's currently has oil in it now because they transported it because uh, we obviously had a failure um, we're going to take the uh, mid pipe off of the, the cat to the uh, center pipe we're going to drop the oil pan, uh, drop down the girdle, and then we're going to see if there's any visible wear, uh, any damage that we can foresee at this point. Um, I do know that it does make a knocking sound, that only at startup, but it goes away. So we're going to see, you know, what is the issue, and then the team here at RBS are going to measure uh, with a multimeter the silicates or whatever those products are on there, and to see how much protection it had. Thank you for that. Let's get going. Right, we pulled the down pipe, the cat off of it. Now we got access to the oil pan. We're gonna now drop the oil out of it and see uh, what she says.
covers a few of the bolts here. So we'll take this off and then we'll get full access for all the rest of the main bolts. And it's pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of times all around. You have one, two, three, four teams for the, I guess you want to call this like a transmission safety bracket or mount or whatever. I'm not much of a Honda guy, so please forgive me. Uh, but I believe maybe it's an exposure to the flywheel. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Pan is on tight. And you can see here, there's definitely something going on. So this is all material, metal. This is all metal shavings. So I guess we'll find out what failed, but more than likely, bang. Now that we got the oil pan off, uh, on these motors they have obviously the oil pickup right here, which is held with uh, one, two, three, four bolts. This is the dipstick, which we're gonna push out of the way here in a moment. This is the main girdle. So this girdle acts as a holder for the crankshaft. On the bottom of the, sorry, technically top side of the girdle is the lower main bearing. And then once we remove this piece here, then we can get to the actual rod bearings themselves. Problem, at least yeah, one of them. The, the tank is, yeah, was getting worn on it. But to be honest with you, for having no engine oil for 4,000 miles, look at the wear. Very low. I'm gonna clean it up and show. So you can definitely see here on the center journal for the main, uh, there's definitely some heat. So at that point, um, there's definitely something going on. Also, I've noticed here as well, like, uh, I'm not sure if this is your guys' material protecting the bearing. I can definitely feel like a glass finish here. But uh, cylinder, I guess not really a cylinder, but center main bearing connection here for the crank definitely got hot, and that's the one that was off of the tank. So it's probably just riding, but still protected. So this is the one that failed, it was off. Can't even feel the scratch on it. Testing the conductivity and what we found through the years is RBS doesn't conduct or surfaces with RBS doesn't conduct electricity well. So we'll be able to see it right there that the meter just goes haywire. And we can see there's some RBS material left covering uh, the metal. Now let's take a look at it when you remove your hands. You can kind of see them that like that one is very low wear actually for the mileage. This thing has out 187,000 miles. Uh, that one took some damage, which we've seen in the bearings. But overall, what would you say? Is it? For no oil, 180,000 miles. For it to even still feel this smooth and not catch my fingernail on any of the components, it's pretty damn impressive. I mean, it, it goes to show that the product actually truly works.
bolting everything up. So the final takeaway is it was cleaner than we expected inside the engine. The, the crankshaft looked pretty good. We expected the bearings to be shot. We could hear one spinning when you started the car. Uh, but overall, um, it looked better than it ought to for having run 4,000 miles with no oil. Well, no oil. Thank you guys for watching uh, all the Honda videos. Figured I'll do a little recap of what we really wanted to do with the whole project and uh, kind of go over it a little bit with you guys. So as you just saw in the video, we did the tear down or we dropped the oil pan off the Honda and, and just like I expected, uh, a couple of the bearings were bad on it. They had spun and you could hear it when you start up the engine. So that was expected and that's what, um, you know, that's what happened. So uh, another takeaway from that is that it was actually very clean inside the engine. And I've opened up now a few engines that have been run with RVS. And it's the same thing with all of them. They're, they've all been extremely clean inside. And that's one side product that our product does it. It does remove contaminants inside the engine and from the friction surfaces. So your engine stays cleaner and also since there's less wear happening because of the coating uh, it never really gets dirty again so that's one of the takeaways so back to the beginning um, we did three engine treatments on the Honda and there's a video where we go uh, to an oil change place and we get the oil dropped and we pretty much drove it as a daily driver as much as we could um, here in the South Florida heat um, it was quite um, you know difficult at some, sometimes because we started out with no AC and it's, it's very hot in here and also you know that puts the car in uh, uh, into you know extreme circumstances with the heat and the traffic here as you've probably seen on the videos about the Honda um, you know we drove it normally day to day um, we even ran it once with uh, the no valve cover on it just to show that there was no oil in it it's not spraying anything out um, we took a drag racing, we drove it literally 35 minutes to a drag strip, drag raced it, and then drove it back to another 35 minutes, you know, putting it under extreme duress. So we, we, we didn't baby the thing by any means. So uh, you can go check all that out. Uh, it's on YouTube. So we wanted to showcase that RVS is uh, engine treatment is not an oil additive. It doesn't affect the properties of oil. And what this Honda did was when we took the oil out of it, you could still see the effects that RVS did, the protection it provided to the bearings, to the camshafts, every uh, metal to metal friction surface really inside the engine that the oil travels to that was able to treat. So we were able to go 4,000 miles in, in South Florida heat, I might add, uh, with no issues. And you know, we knew it was gonna give out at some point, and then it finally did spun, spun a bearing and, and we turned it off and we added oil to it. We did try to kind of revitalize it a little bit with uh, doing another treatment in it. But, you know, when you have a physically spun broken part, you know, you can't fix that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give us a follow on Instagram and follow us on YouTube. Uh, we're probably going to do something else uh, similar maybe in the future. Um, and you know leave in the comments if you want to see a certain project or something come to life and, or you want to try us some extreme experiments let us know and I thank you for watching thanks